Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynaut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. Today we find ourselves in Lindenvale, a quite little... a quaint little town. And uh, this is also the place where we found the Reardon Manor quest and where we eventually ended up with Letho. But today we're here for another Witcher contract, namely the Witcher contract for Lord the Merry Widow. Well. And to start this off, we need to talk to a certain grave digger here. Hello, good sir. Okay, that was condescending. Hear about the job. Seems you've got a problem. Some graves get dug up. If that were only it. Every now and then. A vile beast that come round the graveyard, devour what's fresh, then move on. Started again not long past. Thought to myself, just don't step out after dark and lock your door tight. But then a young un went missing. From the graveyard? Nay, from the village. Little snotter wouldn't have come here of his own. And I'd heard something like a whimper in the night. Didn't bother to come out, see what was happening. Think me daft. If you've monsters, you need a witcher. That's right. So, that's Haggle. Let's talk about my reward. So, we're gonna try the same thing we did before, only a bit higher. Let's start at 280. Just the tiniest bit, dear. But we'll settle soon, I can see that. Haggling's as much an art as er uh, lots of other arts. Yep, you look really smart. So let's put it on to 70 and end it at that. Just nope. the tiniest bit deep. Okay, we get it. 265. Just the tiniest bit deep. Okay. Just the top. I'm gonna have to really get that low because otherwise I'm gonna lose the contract. Just the tiniest bit. Deep. Okay. There we Rates go. Fair. Five coins extra. Job. I know a bit about these things. Okay, see what we can do. See if I can learn what's out there. So, let's head towards that lovely cemetery behind Linden Vale. I don't think we've lost... Okay, I won't. That's referring to uh, the law of surprise. The law of surprise is where the Witcher can, uh, well, ignore payment and say that the man requesting the contract gives away the first thing he sees and did not expect when he re returned home and gives that to the Witcher. And that used to be, well, kids. <laughs> Sorry, doggies. So that's a law of surprise, and that's why witchers are up the graves, and the stench of decay attracted wild dogs. But witchers are renowned for uh, steal kids. stealing kids, which is not really stealing, since the man requesting the contract must agree to the law of surprise. And that's the same way uh, Geralt found Ciri, actually. But, let's focus on the contract now, shall we? So, inside this mausoleum is a little shrine. There seems to be a chest here, so thanks for that anyway. There's something here. No tools used though. So yeah, you already mentioned that the ghouls dug those up, so that's why there wouldn't be any tools. This looks ominous. But nothing particular. This one, however. Graves been dug up recently. Smell of cadaverings old though. Overripe. Wonder where the stench will lead me. So it appears something 
arose from the grave here. Now we need to follow the scent of cadaverine, whatever that may be. And keep an eye out for any ghouls lurking here. It's a nice bridge. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a jump. Okay, two jumps. There we go. And the sand goes across. So it must be something pretty big. Huh. So never enter a house you don't know without saving. Whatever filth lives here sure chose an unusual place for its lair. So it's a beast, but it took a house for its lair. Weird. Creature can use tools. Means it's sapient. Or just plain clever. Interesting. This is one of the quests I haven't done Somebody's yet as well, doing so... Some uh... cooking. Yes. It's a human femur. A child's. So I don't really know what's going on human here. Human skulls in a magic circle. Holy shit, Monsters that's... clearly using them. Drawing strength from the place of power. Got a grave hag. Collected the skulls to draw the power through them. Confidence grew enough it started prowling the village. Need to take the skulls. Force it to go back to the cemetery. I'll get it there. That ought to really piss it off. Now to lay low in the cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. So, we're gonna steal the belongings of the grey hag. And return back to the cemetery to lay ourselves a trap. So, we meditated again near the cemetery to make it dark so the grave hag will come out. Saving again. And I think. Yeah. Grave hags fall under the uh, necrophage affiliation. So, black blood as a potion or necrophage, necrophage oil. And Erd and Quen as signs. So, let's do this. There she is. There she is, right on cue. And she can talk. Okay. So that starts by burning off her armor a bit, because she has quite a bit. And she is quite weak to Igni apparently. And there we go. So that wasn't too hard. She's apparently really weak for Igni. Still not seen in the bestiary, but weird. So Igni it is. Another sword and another trophy. And here we do get the decapitation animation. The wraith must have been too uh, incorporeal to be had. Let's check out the sword and the trophy now, shall we? So the sword is a pretty powerful, or really powerful, silver sword. That does 28 more damage than the one I'm currently using. 
I'm gonna use my uh, lose my uh, my rune stones though. Although I think I can get those back if I dismantle the Morkrim sword. So yeah, let's switch that out. I'll put a few runes on that thing as well. Let's do freezing, burning, and of course, poisoning. And the trophy also gives us just 5% bonus experience. So, let's head back to the village. There we go. <laughs> Hear about the job. And? It's taken care of. It was a grave hack that dug up the graves and snatched the child. Aye. So, how is the little tyke? Uh, dead. Eaten. Alive, probably. Child's dead. Oh, tis as I thought. What about my reward? Oh, I've not forgotten, eh? Here you go. Thanks much for your help. Take care. Thank you as well. So, another contract done. This wasn't too hard. The other one was uh, more difficult. So, instead of just ending the episode, I'm gonna do a little side quest as well, if you remember. So, we're gonna try and repair those three shrines we promised the, the old woman a while back. So, let's make this quick now, shall we? Because I have been wondering if there's anything special to this quest as well. Holy shit, okay, I spawned and there's a fucking Andrega warrior right here. And finish it off another bomb. So using dragon dream, dragon's dream bombs on top of a burning enemy is really effective. So let's fix this one. Destroyed this one too. There we go. Aren't we good little fellows? Anything in the neighborhood here? No, apparently not. And then I'm gonna take Roach towards the last one. Because we did one already when we started this quest, so... Oh! And then there's a griffin. Yeah, we're gonna try and avoid that thing. Nope. Nope. And a nice ruin, actually. We're kind of sightseeing today. It is, however, teeming with raids, apparently, so I'm gonna do that later. Okay, we've al we're almost there. I'm gonna take caution there seems to be a group of people over there so why are they messing with those statues whoa he's even kicking it down students you the ones destroying shrines all over Valen what's that got to do with you what's it got to do with you we are the heralds of lightning, heavy drops from leaden clouds. What Unleashed, the fuck was that? The lightning's name shall be Overman. Um. The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath. The wrath of the gods. The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains, the dying embers of superstition that harms. Great. Need a favor, though. You gotta clean up after yourselves here, then go back to wherever you came from, dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses! The gods are dead! 
Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Master Friedrich? Fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. So, um, I can't let you do that, mister. Sorry, even if you are a teacher with his students. Amusing as this little show is, I'm getting bored. Leave, and don't come back. Oh, what? Or um, I'll tell on you to the headmistress. <laughs> Repression! Attack the system's lackey! Seriously? Displayed in the sideshow of the circus. Dude. Well, seriously? Could be quite profitable. Whoa! Yeah. <gasps> well, I have been training my uh fisticuffs. Didn't do four at a time though. That's one. <laughs> One punch, two down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. So we got a few things of those. Fellows. But that concludes the Defenders of the Fate quest. Don't need to put this thing back straight. Oh, okay. So, and by beating up a few students and their teacher, I'm going to end it here. Yeah, I'm standing on the dude. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.